This isn't life! Happy Halloween. Cuz. Yeah. yeah, it is that time of year again, isn't it? Yeah. Spooky, Spooky season. Scary skeletons, isn't it? This is yeah. Halloween. This is Halloween. <laughs> um, I guys, I just saw a video on YouTube, and it was this guy. He's like, he's like a must be like an Arctic climber or explorer, sort of. You know, shows people around and that sort of like a Gurkha who takes people up Everest and whatnot. And he was like standing over this look like a seemingly harm, harmless puddle, and then he put his like pick his ice pick down and his arm and his shoulder basically like a full man man's length down there and it still didn't touch the bottom i just thought what a fucking terrible way to go stepping into like like a crevasse by accident just cool in, like. yeah imagine being although you wouldn't you wouldn't um you wouldn't dehydrate to death well depends if it was salt or yeah but it would it... I don't think snow can be. Oh, was it water or was it like snow? It was like it was like a uh, water. Oh yeah, because once you hit that kind of water, have you, have you seen the video of that um that woman that is in, like there's like a plunge pool. Have you seen it? There's like a plunge pool and they're like out in the middle of I think it's like Russia, and it's at night and they make this little hole and they're supposed to like jump in. I don't know how they thought it would work, but she jumps in at an angle, and obviously because there's a current under the thing, it just she jumps in at an angle and obviously where the hole's so small. She's gone. Just, will she die? Yeah, because the, as soon as you hit the water, not only is it absolutely freezing, you're going to shock. Yeah. Where she where she jumps in at an angle and not straight down, the hole was nowhere near big enough, but she jumped in and the current, because there's a current underneath. So yeah. it just obviously as you jump in and be, where you're so like shocked and your body goes into shock, you then look up and it's pitch black. So you can't even see the hole anyway, because you're not going to go straight. If you went straight down, you might have a chance. So she actually, but, did, she actually died? Yeah, she? she just never... Her kids were there and everything. You can hear the kids like screaming, Mum. Yeah, she's oh gone. Oh, my God. Yeah, man, it's horrific. Why would you f***ing do that, man? That's what I'm saying. Like, at night as well. Without, like, a, bit, without a bit of oh. rope on or something, like... Yeah. Imagine living in, like, a seaside town and it's cut, It's like, winter and and you're out with the boys or something and you fall into, like, an icy, icy harbour or something. Mate, that's it. Basically... I always like to think that I'd be all right in a harbour because I'm quite a strong swimmer. Yeah, but yeah, I know what you mean. If you're like pissed up in that, Cause it's like they they did the, they did that campaign, didn't they? It was like float to survive or something, wasn't it? It was like basically to if you did uh, fall in water. I vaguely remember you'd, that. I think it was for I don't know if it was exactly for um p- people who were drunk, but it was for people who'd like fallen in icy water or something. And what you what you're supposed to do is just like not now panic. Back, is it? Well, yeah, just try try and float because if you panic and stuff, and you're gonna lose. You take breath water in, like, yeah. You're gonna sink, yeah. So, in scary though, isn't it? Like nothing. There to me is nothing scarier than deep water, especially when you can't see the bottom of it. Yeah, when when you're like, in, in, could you imagine like when you have them like that film? Like I can't remember what film is, but it's a true story when them divers get left behind, the man and wife, and they're just stuck in the fucking middle of the ocean for like f-ing four days, and uh... then he. He gets killed because a shark eats him. And imagine being on your oh, own. Oh, what open water? Open water. No, yeah, isn't open I've water not seen just it. The, just the girl. No, it's it's no, the man there's, there's the Oh, that's the shallows, isn't it? Sorry. Yeah, the yeah. shallows. That's with Blake. No, but this, lively, this isn't really it? about sharks. It's more about being stuck in the ocean. But imagine at night where it's eerily quiet and pitch black, and you yeah. don't know what's underneath you. Yeah, and your you're leg cold as well. Your legs just dangling. Yeah. That was a morbid point. start, wasn't it? Well, yeah, it was. <laughs> well, you know, we're just trying to fit the theme of uh, of today, which of course is the thirty first of October. Yeah, be careful the date we're more recording. Kids. Though the 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 rate that we record the date we're recording is the thirty first, not when this comes out. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's a good point, Alex. But um, I mean, there, there is also the the point to be made. The the argument I'd say is that I really don't give a fuck <laughs> when Fair people enough. listen to this. Fair enough. Um, I I forget this as soon as I do it. I forget <laughs> yeah, what this, this topic has no bearing on my life. What's no, on? yeah, it's it's inconsequential, really. If anything, if anything, it's a it's a it's, a it's in the way, up. isn't it? It's a bug there. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. real. It's a real. It's a real like you know like when what's the word? What it's like, inconvenient, it's, isn't it? Really? Yeah, but like it it's so mildly inconvenient. You know, like when, what's another yeah. like real, inco- real like, if you broke into someone's house, what's the most inconvenient thing you could do? 
just treading dog shit or something. No, but like really? smaller than that. The real, the real mm. like pathetic, inconvenient thing you could do that's really annoying. <laughs> like, uh, like um, take out, like make like. I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking. Do the opposite to the dishwasher. What? So like, like all the dirty plates if they're in the dishwasher, take them out again. Like a real sort of mundane yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. Or like, you know, like you 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 put away the 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 defrosting milk. <laughs> yeah, or turn or turn off turn off the telly by the mains, so it's going to take them a few <laughs> minutes to realise that it's off. Why is why it's not working? Yeah, they, they've already sat down, haven't they? Yeah, it's real inconvenient. They're going, oh, what's going on with this? Oh, honestly, this bloody thing. Yeah, the sh- remote's sh- fine. They check the remote, check the batteries. <laughs> yeah, they they even change the batteries, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Strategically, strategically place a glass of half of half full with water so they knock it over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's really inconvenient. That's quite inconvenient, yeah. That's <laughs> that's what we are. That's what we are here for, to be honest, in people's lives. Yes. The inconvenience. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, I've got something that's even more inconvenient, and it fits quite well with the story. To be fair, it's oh, perfect. Very, very inconvenient. This nice this story I've got for you today. Um, shall we get into it? Sure. Yeah, mate. This podcast is sponsored by Dubby. Dubby was formulated to give you all the energies, all the focus, with no jitters or crash. Yeah, I mean, we are talking no sugars, no calories, no maltodextrin, and no artificial colours. You get 30 servings in every tub, and it comes in over eight different flavours. But you know what else is sick about them? Their merch. T-shirts, hoodies, and stickers, all on their website. Go check them out now. And when you're on the website, type in This Isn't Life for 10% off your whole basket total. So, boys, as uh, standard for the show, um, I'll give you the headline, and then we go into our guest the tabloid. Um, here it comes. Tragedy as body of hide-and-seek world champion found in a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's super inconvenient. It's pretty inconvenient, isn't it? It's inconvenient for the homeowner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What cupboard You've got a lot of questions in? to answer. Um... I mean, the picture on the on the paper itself looks like a air, like a closet, like a like a like a coat cupboard, you know, like a yeah, the closet that you came out of. Yes, yeah, nice. he didn't, he didn't know, <laughs> he didn't know, no, he didn't make it out, he did didn't. he? No, uh, but it's, <laughs> that's, it's that's why it's always best to be yourselves, kids. That's yeah. it. It's a cupboard ah! system. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to go by. They them do that, yeah, yeah, or don't, obviously. What's your uh, allegedly? What's your <laughs> allegedly? <laughs> allegedly. What, what do you think you could be? Where do you think that's come from? Uh, what do you mean? Where's, where's that? Come I from? think that's oh, just coming from so someone right, being yeah. really good. Oh, I thought you meant someone being really good at hide and seek. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they were they were they were ace at it, really. I mean, I'd say no, they're probably no the world's better. best, yeah. Um, I don't think that's grotty enough to be a star. Okay. I think that is a better tab, not better, but like a more widely accepted tabloid. I have Maybe. actually heard something similar to this at so least have I. before. Um, but yeah, it's a different lab one. Bible. Is it one we've had before. It's not. Uh, I we've definitely had it before. It is not lab bible. Uh, shot in the dark. Is it the Guardian? No. Metro. No. Oh. Oh. Do you know what? You you I don't want to give too much away. You're right, it's not the star. Sport. Yeah, but but I'm gonna give you an extra point if you can name what sport. Sunday. Sunday sport. Hey. hey. It's from oh. Sunday sport. I thought it didn't that doesn't sound that mental actually for a sport for a Sunday sport. No, it doesn't. Um I, I, before uh we get into it, um I'm just gonna I'm just going to share my screen to the guys here because I'd love to know what um, what they they can describe this man looking like. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know so I love a good comparison. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd love to get your deepest... Um, deepest sympathies as well. Your deepest <laughs> uh, description of him. That you okay. Oh. Oh. oh right. I'll go. I'll go. 
Yeah, go for it, man. Real life Ned Flanders. <laughs> that's, that's right. That I right. have a white wine spritzer. <laughs> <laughs> he is he is someone you would never you wouldn't even let babysit your dog. <laughs> because of fear of fear of it um not coming back the same. Yeah. You certainly yeah. he should not be around children, that guy. Ever. He's got a um He's got a sort of haunted moustache. Haunted? Yeah. It, no, it's, it, it's haunt, it, his face is haunting. Yeah. Yeah, those glasses aren't, aren't any good that, for him. If, if you change that headline to Horror House, 16 prostitutes found butchered in house, <laughs> and you that picture, there would be, you, you, would you, tell the truth, would you even bat an eyelid? No, I'd walk you straight past the shop, I saw it in and gone, yeah, it's just another day, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Can I? Uh, he I looks don't... a little bit like Bill Gates. Uh, if he, he had a meth problem, he, he he does. He has got Bill Gates look about him actually, but like yeah. if Bill Gates was a serial killer from Texas, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I... he's a trucker, isn't he? That's what he does. Oh, oh, one hundred percent. I now don't want to show you too much of this photo because I've just noticed something that I'm going to keep for the end. Well, now I'm obviously going to... Oh, okay, teasing us, teasing us. That was selfish. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, okay, so we've, we've, it's the Sunday sport. Yep. Um, Is he English bit... or American? Sorry. Good. Yeah, good question. Well, the guy, I don't know. Should we, should we get into the story and have a look? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Can we all take a guess of his name? Well, me and Will, at least. Yeah. What do you reckon it could be? Go on, Will. Two uh, guesses each, I'd say. Two guesses each. Well, it's, it, it, it's got it's got the likes of Keith written all over it, but then it's <laughs> also uh, also I'm getting Alan, I'm getting Alan. Oh, vibes. that's true. right on the yeah. money, Alan. <laughs> oh, that was outstanding, Will. Right on the money. But also, um, if, it, if, it, if it had been Keith, I wouldn't have argued. No, no. no. <laughs> or Brian, Brian, I think. Brian, yeah. Brian, yeah. Uh, and I say Brian because I'm going to get into the story now. World-class hide-and-seeker Alan Yule always wanted to be... Oh, sorry, it, it, uh, we're the Sunday sport here, so I'm going to start again. But you No know, worries, mate. Take time. Just know that I've got to <laughs> ad-lib a lot of it because yeah. of some of the spelling and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, world-class hide-and-seek, hide-and-seeker Alan Yule always wanted to be take after his father, Brian. Three-time international hide-and-seek champ no. between 1989 and 1994. <laughs> There is no way that is true. I mean, th- this is what this is the sort of standard we're at. Um, the first line: Alan Yule always wanted to be take. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we don't we we only settle for the best, don't we? Yeah. This is our lifeblood. Um, <laughs> this is journalism at its finest. There you go. <laughs> Should we get right into it though? There's, there's a lot of information here. Go on, go, go on, mate. Tragically, 45-year-old Alan followed his old man's footsteps a little too closely. Um, and then again, the old Sunday sport uh, punctuation spelling. Four, comma, like Brian. Alan <laughs> met his... <laughs> Alan I love, met I love his... the way they put the comma in. I know, I know. Uh, and it's not even like th- there's any more to it. That, that's the start of a sentence. Four, <laughs> comma. <laughs> and then like Brian, comma... Uh, Alan met his lonely end trapped in a cupboard during the World Hide and Seek Championships. Ow. Lars, I, mate, oh, he was that good. And no why are they holding the championships inside <laughs> someone's house? I don't know. Where else are you going to hide it? You can't hide it in a field. Do you reckon? You? Do you reckon every year when the winner wins, that's the biggest prize you get to host the next championship in your house, Maybe. regardless of how small it is? Maybe. Because if you've done it in a big, large open space, it'd be hard. Find everyone. No. Yeah, but it's a <laughs> championship, Alex. I think oh. there's no good doing it with a hundred people in a flat, is it? Yeah. I think it'd be harder doing it in a small space, though. Yeah, obviously, oh, yeah. but like it'd be impossible. Imagine trying. Imagine us three trying to hide in Alex's flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You would get found straight away. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Um. It says here, last night the tight knit world of hide and Higher, higher end, hired and seek, was united in grief and shock at the horrific coincidence of two hired and seek deaths in the same f- family. 
19 years apart. So his dad died as well. <laughs> Do you not I think he should have learned? He should have, he should have learned from his dad. Well, yeah. Well, he's gonna, his dad taught him everything he knew, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> knowing, knowing um, we know that his name's Alan. His, his dad's name's Brian. Um, there's another guy that's mentioned here. Oh, um, another. Is this where two, the, the plot thickens? The plot thickens, but two ge- two ness- uh, two two guesses. I'm giving you. We are, it hasn't been said. Two guesses on the on the name. Yeah, but I need to. I, I need a visual aid. Um, imagine. <laughs> I would say the brother of who I've shown you so far. Oh God, okay. um, Ian. No. Ooh. One more. Go on. One more, mate. Um, um, Floyd. Oh, Ooh, Floyd. That's out there, but no. That's a oh. good one, though. I would totally believe that. <laughs> um, it's, uh, um, Carl. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Bit longer. <laughs> bit longer. <laughs> bit longer. Um, Charles. No. no Timothy. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. Go Graham. On. Graham. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's got sex. I feel written, like though. we were close. I feel like, like yeah. in... in, in in terms of content, we were close. <laughs> um. Anyway, it says here Graham Langley, forty-six, the two thousand and two European champion. Oh. Um, he was the champion Tucker hider, Blur. not the seeker, not the seeker. He's the champion hider. Uh, oh, is it, well, there's two different categories. Oh yeah, there's hiders and seekers. Oh shit, yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. Um, it says Graham Langley, forty-six, the two thousand and two European champion hider. Uh, shuddered. After Brian Yule died during the 1995 championship, the hide and seek world took a long, hard look at itself. <laughs> <laughs> if they could find him, yeah. That's dangerous, man. Uh, I, well, okay, so he's. So, okay, I thought um, uh, Floyd, not, what's his name? Graham. I thought he was going to be uh, our, our main antagonist. Yeah, so did I. Like a. Like a... An evil character of sorts. Like, like a Cluedo, yeah. Like a whodunit. Yeah. Floyd with a fucking... Yeah. I'm Floyd oh, with an F. <laughs> Double D at the end as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Floyd did it. <laughs> Floyd did it. Floyd did Floyd it. Did it. <laughs> um, but he, he did say, uh, Graham, he, he went on. We vowed this must never happen again. Procedures were changed. Rules were tightened. We took our health and safety responsibilities very seriously. And we were certain that there would be no more fatalities in the hide-and-seek community. Were the rules, everyone needs to be observed? <laughs> no. Do you reckon it was? By yeah. someone. Do you, reckon, do you reckon they've died? Because at the end of the competition, everyone just forgets. And they go, oh, cool. He's, they, give, they celebrate him. and they, Everyone just leaves and turns the light yeah. off. And he's like, I'm still in here. But how yeah. did you... This is the thing that the judicators, I say, the judges, yeah. Yeah. Um, would they, what, you'd set up cameras, surely. Well, it depends where, they are. I need to know where they're hiding. You know, the usual, like behind curtains where you think yeah, but like, yeah, but, and... yeah, but oh, now I need to know, is it, is it like we said, is it like I said, is it, is it that it's like Eurovision when you like, or the World Cup or whatever, like, when you hope, like you, you put a bid in for it, and then you get it in your house, or does the winner get to do it in their house? Maybe it's everyone's house, but it's knockout stage. <laughs> oh, that is a yeah. That's yeah, maybe it's not just the one. Not it's not just one event. Yeah. Why yeah, are we not pitching? It, why are we not pitching this to ITV? <laughs> oh, imagine. Be like that would actually be so good. <laughs> It'd be like the castle, it? but oh, like in true. people's houses, but you just like hide. Yeah. On That'd the ground at stake. If anyone from ITV is listening, we own the rights. Yeah, don't even think we, about you it. heard it here first. Yeah, don't even think about it. You, you went underground, or is that a bit too much? 250,000, maybe? I don't know. I don't know yeah, uh, it depends how many. If you start with 100 people, then I think 250 grand is probably about right. Because now, you need the TV show to go on for about three weeks at most, don't you? Yeah. We yeah, but sure if we get our money's worth. Yeah, true. True. And you could also. On, on one of the weeks, one random week, you could hide a chimp with a machine gun somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> In like the yeah. closet. Safety off. Yeah, Yo, exactly. Alan, have this. 
He's either going to write a Shakespeare or, or, or fill you with lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I've heard as well. <laughs> get a group of his mates together. Absolute yeah. carnage. You get some fucking lead poisoning, mate. <laughs> or some bloody great poetry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't really lose. <laughs> do you um, reckon? Do you reckon this fella? He. Uh, he, he he thought he's going to be really like ambitious and decided to hide somewhere like really stupid. Like he's going to hide under water. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hide under a running bath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Graham Graham's like the star of the show for a bit. Um, he's got oh, yeah. more. Um, so he said about you know get, getting more strict on the health and safety and the rules and stuff for uh, for the community. Um, he said we were wrong, and to make matters worse, the victim this time around is Brian's son Alan. The odds against it are astronomical. Uh, astronomical, yeah. sorry. Yeah, they are. Oh, astronomical. To be fair. Yeah, uh, but it's happened, and we need to work out what to do going forward. Yeah. There's two deaths, and they're still going. Maybe what stop playing this mindless, this mindless game. Yeah. Were they exactly one year apart? By any chance? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We just like, can't yeah. work out the pattern. No, yeah. no, no. Nineteen years. Nineteen, 19 years. years. Oh, I couldn't even make it to twenty. Yeah. Pathetic um, failure. I'll tell you what, though. Alan's body was there a while. Yeah? How long? Oh, yeah. Well, Alan's body was found by a demolition team tearing down the abandoned house where he had hidden in a closet during the 2014 <laughs> International Hide and Seek Championships. Jesus. Held in Billingham. Uh, Where's Tessai. Billingham? That's near you, isn't it? Well, Billingham? I don't think so. Tesside. No. That's Gillingham. No. Oh, no, not Gillingham. Billingham, Gil- Tesside. Oh. Don't know where that is. Uh, back in April. So, I don't, I don't know where Billingham, Tesside is. If... Uh, if anyone, if anyone lives there, if anyone lives there, is there yeah, a Hide and Seek Championship? Yeah, and have you found him? Yeah, or is he still missing? Um, Billingham Tesside. I'm just having a having a quick look. Um, Billingham is a country of Durham. Durham, Durham. Durham sorry, Durham. Oh, that's up um, not up north then. Yeah, so like Middlesbrough sort of way. Yeah. Uh, the the arsehole of Britain. Some people call it. <laughs> 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 do, you, do you call it that? I thought it was Birmingham. I've, I've, I've heard, allegedly, I've heard it been called that a few times. <laughs> Such a good way of saying it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Florida is the arsehole of America, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's just like, but just all us Brits shit. love going there. Just shit. Yeah. Um, it seems this was fairly, his, his body was found um, right before they wrote this up. Um, oh, really? Home office pathologist. 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 Yeah. Remove the corpse from a fully for a full autopsy. God, this is terrible. Remove the corpse. Autopsy. Full autopsy. Yeah, I know it's an autopsy. Where the exact cause of death will be determined. Sorry, it's it's written it like instead of just being like determined, it's written D dash determined. Like you know, it's like (laughs) an extra line. You know, yeah. It just threw me off. Um, a source said. Because the body had started to dry out, we are not yet sure if it's if the deceased suffered a cardiac arrest, if he somehow got trapped in a cupboard, or if he had just sat and hid until he killed over and died. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's dedication, though, isn't it? Yeah. You got to give it to him. It's been four days now. He's like severely dehydrated, like, and he's like, "Nope, nope, yeah. I refuse." <laughs> um, there's a little, two little uh, subheading. Um, no, no, the little boxes you get. One of them is hiding to nothing, um, <laughs> yeah. uh, and investigating. And under investigating, it says the idea that somebody could be so committed to hide and seek, he'd actually die before revealing his hiding place. So out sounds outlandish. <laughs> <laughs> outlandish. I bet he's got a real cult following now, though. I bet he has. Yeah. Um, any me. questions so far, boys? Oh, millions. Um, <laughs> right, my, my my main one is just I want to know how he actually died, but it's yet to be. Uh, well, I think determined. I think probably the orange in his mouth probably is a big giveaway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, trousers around his ankles. The belt, the belt around his neck. <laughs> the, the... At least we know he went out on his own terms. I've just read <laughs> yeah, exactly. a little bit more that I I didn't read before, um, and it, the plot thickens. Yeah. Um, Anyway, so, so this uh, this person here, a source, it doesn't say who, uh, carrying on from how outlandish it was, 
Uh, but that is how it works in the world of hide and seek. Yeah, uh, what, it's a what, cutthroat it's like, game. It's part of the yeah. course, is it? Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, police have, have written a statement here. They say there are no suspicious circumstances surrounding Alan's death at this time. Though officers from the gaming and betting squad are investigating a large number of big money bets placed on the championship by Chinese Ooh. and Malaysian syndicates. Oh, the triad. Yeah. It always always yeah. goes back to the triads, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's it, yeah. yeah. There you go. Well, I've heard it's a lucrative business betting on where people are and where they're not. Mate, well, the Chinese do love a bet. They probably will bet on anything. Yeah. They do love a bet, mate. Have you been to a casino and just seen rows and rows of old Japanese ladies or Chinese, not Japanese, Chinese ladies? Yeah. Feeding, feeding that, feeding the fucking uh, the slot machines like it's going out of fashion. <laughs> One on bandits. Yeah, man. The only time I went, I went to uh, Genting in uh, South yeah, End one time. The classic. Fucking hell, mate. Oh. It's full like, of Chinese women. Uh, probably, yeah. But I, yeah, I think there were actually. <laughs> but the, the just the weirdest thing was, like, I'm sitting there thinking, I feel like such a sucker because all of this shit is like it used to be. You know, it used to be uh, like at least a bit more chance, like you'd spin the actual thing, but now it's all on, it's all yeah, like computer. Like digitally. Yeah. So it's like, how much is how much of that is actual chance? It's just you all can... RNG, isn't it? It's all they RNG. They do, they do yeah. have, yeah, but they do have um, the, like um, interactive ones that you actually watch through actual thing spin. Yeah, yeah. but that, like, I, I reckon they hundred percent, they hundred percent put it slightly in their favour. Of course, hundred yeah. percent. I think roulette is the roulette is the only one that the, the the house doesn't have an advantage. I think maybe blackjack also, but I think the house all, always has an advantage. But I think with with um, roulette, I generally think that's down to chance. If if it's spun by an actual wheel, if it's done by a computer, then yeah, of course, even if it's one yeah. percent. But I think I think it's genuine luck with um, with roulette. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be because they can't so. control that. But they can't control where the ball goes. Yeah, and unless it, unless that. Yeah. No, nah, no person. way. There's no way because <laughs> they make so much money off other things. There's no point. Um, yeah. I'd like to just just. There's only one little paragraph here just to end it off. Um, and the the plot. The plot's so thick now, it's like custard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like concrete, mate. <laughs> it's like when, you leave, like when you leave gravy in the fridge overnight. Yeah. It's, it's like overdone porridge. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, it gets thicker. It gets thicker. Oh, uh, it's like and uh, Ominously, the circumstances behind Brian Yule, so this is Alan's dad, uh, behind Brian Yule's death, reported on the front page of the Sunday Sport in December 1995, have never no. been explained. Oh, really? Oh. And and did he not want to look into his dad's death? No, he was too busy hiding from it. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he was trying to find him. He was seeking him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he was seeking him. <laughs> he was teaching um, him the, the greatest life lesson. Yeah. That that's the end, boys. I've got no more for you. F- find me, boy. Find me. <laughs> <laughs> He came at him like a, like a force ghost in Star Wars. Yeah. So he, that's how he appears. He's like, he's like, Alan, you must find me. Well, he's certainly got a main character name, hasn't he, Alan? Yeah, Alan. He's got he's got the main character name. So I'm and pretty, Alan, I'm pretty you can always trust Alan. And and Alan will always, if you're in the back garden building a shed and your name's called Alan, he will no doubt start off by telling you how you're doing it wrong. Wrong, and then somehow work his way into doing it for you. That's an Alan. <laughs> That's an Alan, yeah. That's an yeah, Alan. Oh, well. Alan, if you have a flat tire, always trust Alan to have one of them electric pumps. Yeah. Well, you'd have a set of keys on him, wouldn't he? Oh, well, t- tied to his jeans, and that opens yeah. anything. A set, a set yeah. of Alan keys. But he's got it. No, no, he's got, he's got, <laughs> he's got his Alan keys on um one of those like retractable. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like he's uh, like he's Paul Blart. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one yeah. cargo shorts, doesn't he? Cargo Where's shorts cargo all year shorts? round. Yeah. Yeah, but has a white t-shirt, in, but it's tucked top. in. Yeah, but also like, yeah. like, like effortlessly cool though as well. Yeah. In a weird way, yeah, it reminds he, me. He knows. Looking at him, right, and describing him. If anyone has ever seen Napoleon Dynamite, he is his brother. <laughs> he, yeah, that's, that's that's good actually. That's no, the one yeah. that meets the the woman online. That's eat, that's who he is. Eat the food. <laughs> yeah. You fat Gloria. <laughs> you fat lord. 
Eat the food. Um, Eat the food. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's that. That was the story, lads. Um, I'd like to get. I, I think it's verdict time because there's so. Oh, I I need yeah. to show you something, but I can't show you until the verdicts are done. All right, mate. That's fine. Fair um. Enough. Well. I've I have heard this before, like a, a while ago. Um, it's not. It's not out of the realms of possibility either. Did you hear um, about Brian? Did you? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it's been a long running feature. Um, <laughs> this is like murder she wrote for Will. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. is. Yeah, I've got I've got like a like a like a cork board in my room, and it's just got loads of bits of uh, cotton. Stream yeah, going off to different, yeah. yeah, you going off to different. You can make a, different you can investigations. Make a, you can make like a really good. You can make like a, a really good film out of something. I reckon, like you could call it hide and don't seek, or you know, a film don't breathe, but it's just yeah. him in a cupboard with a hand around his mouth. Don't <laughs> seek, or, or or it's a drama. The hider, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the hider, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the hider, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fool me once, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the tagline, the tagline, like when, when you get like the the Guardian, Guardian five stars, and it's like a film to be seeked. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you won't see it coming. <laughs> the lo- the long wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the long dark. <laughs> yeah. Just just hit just him in a box trapped. <laughs> yeah that's a good one trapped yeah <laughs> you know, yeah yeah there's a there's a review company typing up a review for the for the movie and it's just where did they find these actors dot 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 they didn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah they I... seek him there they seek him here the sh- <laughs> I, <don't. laughs> I reckon uh i reckon that'd be a great advert for like a lock company just yeah. him, him trying to get out <laughs> and it doesn't give out and it just says like premium locks the ones you can trust yeah <laughs> just start shaking the door going help me <laughs> the door gives out before this. the lock does <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sorry Will I cut you off no yeah, I'm out uh, yeah I'll say I'll say this is life yeah this is life yeah, yeah um, okay. okay it's Halloween okay Oh, spooky um, um, I I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna follow suit because I can't even think of a reason why. But um, I just, wanted just to laugh at it, and also, <laughs> yeah. also, I want to believe that he died for something, and I want to believe that it's true. Like if I want to believe that someone's that dedicated to something they love. That they're willing to they're willing to literally die of boredom for it. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Absolute so, dedication to the cause. Yeah. And like he went, Well, if this is how dad went out, like he comes from a long line of hide and seekers, and they've all and apparently in your family, it's like a Viking. If you don't die that way, you're not a man. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you <laughs> die, you can only get into Val Valhalla if you uh die from not being not being seeked. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm going to go, this is life as well. I like that. Well, I'm going to say that this isn't life. Oh. Right. Forever the contrarian. (laughs) Well, here comes what I've wanted to show you, and I think I'm about to change your guys' minds. I noticed this. I've I've, I've blown it up for you. Right. I can't see anything. Um, No, no, no. you, You will. I've blown it up for you. Now, I want you to have a look at this picture. Um, I've taken a screenshot of Alan's eyes from the arc. What do you see that's wrong with that? There's four of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, not the fact that he's wearing glasses, but what do you see was wrong with that photo? Um, he looks like a crazy wild animal. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Would you uh, like me to point got... some stuff out? But it's you? like square bits in the bottom, but I don't know. Yeah, I think well, that's part of his glasses, though. Let, let's just see. Oh, yeah, it's so the reading line or whatever it is. The magnifying bit. Go on, then, mate. You're on. I'm so... going to draw. So we have got two eyes in two glass holes. Yeah, glass yeah. Holes. You know, you've got glass and two eyes. Yeah. 
Yeah. But inside the glasses, we can see. <laughs> now, bear in mind, this arm of Alan's glasses. Sorry, I need to draw. This arm of Alan's glasses here, which you can see my red pen. Yeah. Yeah. He's going behind his ear. Why is there a glasses arm <laughs> that's inside? A, that's a good point. His, uh, his glasses. As you Wait, zoom see, out again, man. Zoom out, out again. Uh, I can't what? zoom out because it's um, it's just a screenshot of that. Also, the side of his head is also inside his glasses. Yeah, I see it now. Oh, it's um, like someone's yeah. like what's the belt of it. And but for what like reason? He's got very focals, but those glasses, wire rim glasses, um, definitely didn't have very focals. The ones he had on. Yeah, but for what reason have they done that? Because it's clearly to make the photo look hilarious. Yeah. Oh, right, mate, you've really dived Poro. deep in this. Poro would be proud. Yeah. Does that change your mind, boys? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. So. No. <laughs> I'd like to show you now. Um, Exhibit you know, B. Now. Yeah. Now that you've <laughs> got. Uh, now that you've got that there. Um, I'm just gonna pull up the actual. I don't know how I can. Let's pull up the actual image. The actual image. Of him. Um, we have to so put this on the see... socials for people oh, to see. Oh, 100%. So you can see that I have watched it. Um, <laughs> so I'll blow that up. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's quite obvious, isn't it? Oh, they're not even his eyes. They're not his eyes. They have cut out a man wearing glasses and stuck them on someone else's face. That is yeah. mental. But would he have looked, exactly would he have looked less like a sex offender with his normal eyes, though? Mm, Maybe well. he didn't have any. That's why he's not a seeker, he's a hider. <laughs> 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 um, that is that is enough to have a whole other episode on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is fucking... Do you know That's what's unreal. weird? How I will give I'm gonna give flowers to the guy that photoshopped that because he's he's done that so well. Has he? Has well, he? Well realistically though, Will, did you see that first of all? No, mate, but now I can't not see it. No, now I can't <laughs> not see it, but like that's the uh that's I think it was <laughs> weird to see his real picture. Yeah, I I wish I could I wish I knew what he looked like really. Do you reckon that's not his hair either? Because now I'm questioning everything about him. Yeah. He's got he's got a very grey moustache, but a head of black hair. Well, it's got to be a two pay, you know. Well, I'm thinking it might be someone else's head altogether. <laughs> he's, he's, he's just a collage of different people. Yeah. yeah. He's that's like, not his moustache either. He's like a Van Gogh nightmare. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, me. As, I imagine that's changed your, your verdict. Oh, that has actually ruined it. <laughs> it really does look like someone completely that, different, doesn't it? That is mental. It's just the way they've lined up. It's perfect. They've lined up the eyes with like the like the the the, the bit that's shitty to the side. Yeah, like, that could have done with work. They've, but they've lined that up with like the the shadows on his face, so it it looks. If he near enough there, but <laughs> oh, my God, they. The more I look at him, the more beautiful he becomes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if they've just made his eyes smaller. Yeah, the, it's it might like just be him. But they've well, they the, the glasses. The glasses. But look, look at the look at the um look at the like the the color on, on the side of his face inside the glasses. They're like exactly the same. Yeah, it's the same color. But what you find is that the glasses arms are going different directions. And well, yeah, I know. Yeah, we had a, yeah, yeah, that point. is. I don't know why they've done that. That's so weird. Alex, I'll tell you what, that was a, you should be a That was a good spot, mate. You should be a copper. Yeah, you should be an investigator. <laughs> that was a ridiculous I, mean, spot. I, I honestly like as as I went, boys, look at the photo and I was like, hang on a minute. <laughs> That's a ridiculous spot, that. No, that mate, was, I uh... I did not see that. I really didn't see that. So there you go. <laughs> Jesus what the f <laughs> That's gonna that's all gonna see in my nightmare is that blown up picture. Yeah. Well it is it is Halloween. Um, oh, God. <laughs> that's an even worse picture. So now I'd like to get, oh, your, <laughs> I'd like to get your final verdicts. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a hat trick. 
Yeah, I've changed my tune. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so three this isn't lives then. Yeah, mate, yeah. Well done. Um, on, very good. You. Looks like the lizard from uh, that, that was that? What was that film with uh, Johnny Depp is the lizard? <laughs> what is it? What? You know that film with Johnny Depp and he's like a lizard. He's a lizard. He, he... Oh, oh, Rango. Yeah, it doesn't that look like him? <laughs> look he, never a, he never had a pedo tash. <laughs> no, no he's a lizard. It's just the eyes, mate. He looks like he looks like he'd be Jeffrey Epstein's butler servant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, free this isn't lives then, boys. Yeah, mate. Yeah, it's, that, right. is, that is it. Uh, yeah, I thought that uh, <clears throat> that'd get you. No, I I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Thank you. Good. Oh, oh well... sorry. Are we, are we keeping you up? <laughs> sorry, mate. Yeah, I've been up, been up, been up all day. Oh, okay. Since uh, since the morning. Yeah, <laughs> since the morning. <laughs> all of the photos will be on the socials at. Um, well, I say socials. We only mainly, mainly use Twitter, don't we? So let's just say it's going to be on Twitter or at X, as it is now called, at This Isn't Life Pod. So make sure you give us a cheeky follow for when that comes out. It will be well, it'll be the day of this uh, this episode. I would day of reckoning, if I remember. as they say. Yeah, if I remember, but I'm sure I will because that uh, that image is hard to forget. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. There's a little uh, little bonus thing as well, isn't there? A little. Uh... And an executive producer has, um, has has shown his supporters need today. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Our uh, our little mascot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. He, he, you will hear um, something you've never heard before on one of our episodes. Um, we're gonna say a spoopy goodbye. I know Halloween's been and gone by the time you guys hear this, but we are gonna say a, a spooky goodbye. Um, in the form of Josh's son. Yeah. Yeah. Doing a little sign off. Yeah. So, so if that don't get followers, I don't know what will. Yeah. No. Yeah. If if you don't follow us and you don't like the uh like the content we put out. He'll cry. Um, then, then you obviously hate kids. Yeah, you hate kids. Yeah, and you're yeah. You're no better than Floyd did. <laughs> <laughs> Is that gonna be a new insult now? Just like, you know, um, go, go, go. You'll be the real Floyd. No, 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 no. I'm not even going on about the Floyd. I, I meant, you know, people used to say, like, go get lost, like, go hide and not be found. Like, so <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, Josh, <laughs> you've got a little something, haven't you? I have. Um, this actually blew my mind when I read it. Um, I'll get straight into it. Humans can't walk in a straight line, and I will back this up with, with facts. You can't. Actually. Humans. Oh really? Is that because we? Uh, is the earth turning? So the facts suggest that none of us can walk in a strictly straight line. Rather, rather we meander, primarily due to our slight structural or functional imbalances of our limbs, which has produced a gait asymmetry. And secondarily, due to the feedback from our senses of sight, which acts to correct the shifted walking course. Mm. So if you, you can actually never, that's why you can't also walk in a straight line when you're blindfolded. That's have why you, what, have you ever tried to walk when your eyes are closed in a straight line? Yeah. Oh yeah, you just go, you go way it's off not, course. Yeah. yeah, it's not impossible. Yeah, so I, I just, I heard it, I was like, there's no way. Think how hard you have to concentrate to walk in a, straight, a dead straight line. Considering yeah. walking something you do every day. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, and like muscle imbalances I, I and stuff. And some people have like a flat, I, one foot flatter than the other and whatnot. Yeah, and exactly. also like shoes these days, or actually shoes, have, I think they've always really been designed just for looks like uh, yeah, that, yeah, form over They're function kind of thing. No, because what you should have is a an area for your feet to for your toes to to splay out a bit more. But you know, you see like stilettos and whatnot, and like even pumps and things like that. They they push the toes inward, which means that you have a, like a flatter foot. Uh, sort of, I think it's called pronates the the knee. So your knees sort of cave in to, together if you're like squatting down or something, because it causes like a, a weakness in that in that part of your leg 
So it's it's, it's mad, isn't it? It's mad how all these things you, you just sort of I, take for granted. I yeah, it's crazy. Think, I, I, I want to debunk that theory. You, well, you can't. No, it's I can. science. I can. Go, Go on, then. Well, myself from experience and ballerinas and gymnasts, they walk on beams. They're straight. If you don't walk in a straight line, you're falling off. No, but I don't think no. it means like something like that. Like, <clears throat> I think it's like tiny discrepancies. Yeah. So, like, this leads into like, so do you know humans naturally walk in circles as well? Like, not obviously circles in you're walking around in an agile circle, but if you was to walk like the length, I don't know, from here to like another kind of point you were walking at, if you were just going by, like a compass or something like not a direct line but like scientists have no, put forward she, many, many ex- scientists have put many, forward many explanations for the circular rambles of lost walkers some say that most people have one leg longer than the other or stronger than the other and over time these differences add up to um a curving course others say that the symmetries in our in our brains set up a tendency to turn in one direction yeah so like i guess if you're right-handed you 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 favour most things on your right hand side. You would you would walk subconsciously slightly to the right. Yeah, potentially. I just potentially. thought that was a bit mad. So it's, it's, almost, it's almost like you're going. Say it again. Sorry. It's almost like you're not in control of where you're going. Um. You are you are to the best of your ability. Aren't yeah, you? no, you but are. You're but still like what slave saying. to what's around you. Yeah. No, that's right. that's interesting. I just thought it was really, yeah, I thought it was a bit nuts. Yeah, mate, yeah, yeah. Well, fair enough. Yeah, that's my segment. Well. That's why we drive, isn't it? Yeah. Because we're never enough getting to where we're going to. And you don't don't want to walk home from the pub pissed either, do you? That's it, yeah. (laughs) Miracle, I even make it home at all. Exactly. (laughs) Well, well, that's said and done, lads. I think it's uh, Time to end. Yeah, uh, yeah. To hide for a week, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. mate. Go back to our our lives. Yeah. Um. So yeah, find the photos and all the clips on the social, the social now, not the socials, because there's only one, which is Twitter X. I'm still calling it Twitter. I don't care. From now on, I'm not going to mention X. It's Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Elon Musk allegedly. Yeah. yeah. Um. So it's it's going to be on Twitter at This Isn't Life Pod, where you can find the picture of Alan, picture of Alan's eyes. All right then, cool. Happy Halloween, oh. happy belated yeah. Halloween. Yeah, happy absolutely. Halloween. It's not belated at the moment, but it will be when uh, when this comes out. So yeah, yeah. Time um, traveling. Yeah, mm. we're in the past. <laughs> we're everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Bye. 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 Happy Halloween from This Isn't Life.